Hello everyone, welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15 where I'll be giving you my Lucky 15 selections for tomorrow's horse racing action as per normal. I'm just going to recap on how today's selections ran. Just the one winner I'm afraid today in uh, Moonwise which was uh, quite short price in the end. We managed to get him at 6-4. to four. That ran at Carlisle where it just held on for the win um, against another horse that was always closing down in the, the final stages of the race. But uh, Moonwise held on for us so that was good there, wins a win. Also, um, another horse that ran for us that it didn't win, but to be fair to it, it ran really well, was Acadian Angel, um, which never quite uh, got a clear run. And it was only towards the last furlong or so that it began to um, really uh, put in an eye-catching performance. He came third in the end, that horse, which was at 5-1, to one, the final SP. And it was kind of like in a three-way uh, finish between three horses, but... Um, that horse finished third and probably another few yards Acadian Angel might have got up for the win so um, definitely one to keep in uh, mind there as it made its handicap debut today and um, was racing over seven furlongs so um, definitely make note for that horse there. Also other horses that ran were Subatomic at Leicester which wasn't a great performance. We also backed uh, Rauschus at Windsor which had Ryan Moore and uh, William Haggis teaming up for that one. And that one didn't really um, like probably win the race because to be fair it was in the race a lot of the time but towards the end of the race it didn't have a turn of pace like it's... Um, other rivals and uh, that one came for so that was slightly disappointing but I'm going to be making some selections for tomorrow's horse race in action which um, to be honest um, I didn't really like the look of a lot of horses tomorrow it was quite hard to um, make up a good lucky 15 which I think will do well tomorrow a lot of uh, horses out of form quite tricky wide open races where there wasn't a lot of great value out there all around um, the race meetings tomorrow so yeah so I've uh, managed to conjure up um, a lucky 15 for tomorrow and hopefully that'll come good for us and the first uh, race we're going to be going to tomorrow will be at Nottingham in the 230 with a horse called Fancy Keeper where you've got Michael Appleby and O'Sheen Murphy teaming up uh, for this ride O'Sheen Murphy's been uh, riding really well of late he's ridden a lot of winners so um, that's good there but this horse fantasy keeper is quite interesting because he's probably one of the least uh, exposed horses in the race it's making its handicap debut tomorrow of handicap mark of 65 and it's ran really well in a couple of uh, maidens where it's only just been beaten it's had a second and a third and it's been involved in both of those races and the horses that won those races or beat um, Fantasy Keeper have gone on to um, run some good races. So um, that one looks quite interesting at the moment and currently 6-1 to one with bookmakers. I definitely think this uh, horse has definitely got a chance tomorrow of running a really good uh, race and could be an interesting one for handicap. So that's who I'm going for there, Fantasy Keeper and the 230 at Nottingham. The second horse that I'm going to be back in tomorrow goes to the 330 at Nottingham with a horse called Marilyn. And this horse is trained by Chris Wall and has got the champ on board tomorrow, Jim Crowley. Now this horse again is quite unexposed. It's only ever ran in a few races. One of those races it won, which was at Yarmouth and a maiden, and it won that one quite well. It made its seasonal reappearance a few weeks ago at Newmarket where it did finish 7th of 12th, but it probably needed the run. It's making its handicap debut tomorrow. I think it could run a good race tomorrow. Oh, especially with the Jim Crowley on board who's uh, been riding quite well of late. And he really wants to defend um, his uh, title um, for his crown as champion jockey. He's going to be up against it. He's got Sylvester D'Souza who I think has definitely got a great chance of winning the flat jockey championship. He's been riding out of his skin. Especially in the last week I've noticed that he's had a lot of 7-8-1 uh, to one, uh, rides, uh, Sylvester D'Souza. And they've actually come in for him and he's really made... Uh, the most of all his rides and um, he definitely could be one of the main people to win the jockeys championship this year on the flat but Jim Crowley should be there or thereabouts and I'm backing him to get one with Marilyn there tomorrow. The third uh, selection tomorrow in our lucky 15 sees us go to the evening jump meeting at Hexham in the 615 with a horse called Apache Pilot. This is trained by Morris Barnes and will be ridden by Dara Borg who will be able to use his £5 claim here. Now this horse seems to like Hexham. 
Last time it was seen was just over a week ago where it finished second behind a good horse called Hattons Hill who's been running really well of late. And before that, about a month previous to that, it was a course and distance winner. So um, that's quite encouraging there. And the handicapper did whack it up £14 for that uh, course and distance win. But it ran really well, uh, yes, uh, last time out off a mark of 88. And it's going to be running off 88 tomorrow. I definitely think this uh, horse looks the best in the race and is definitely the one to beat. Currently 11-4 to 4 with um, a lot of bookmakers at the moment. That's who I've gone for there, Apache Pilot. Our uh, last selection in our um, Lucky 15 tomorrow sees us go to the other jumps meeting in the evening at Huntington. And the horse that I'm back in here is Cobra Demai for the Inform Jockey and Stable, which is the brothers of Harry and Dan Skelton, who I've actually um, done a cheeky um, double on uh, for Harry to win the Jockeys uh, Championship on the um, jumps and also Dan to win the trainers uh, title on the jumps and that was a really nice double because um, when I got it I think Dan Skelton for the title was 66 to 1 and uh, he's really shortened over um, the last few days I think he's now about 33 to 1 so um, I did well to back him there and you might say that Dan Skelton he hasn't got some of the top horses um, compared to some of his rivals like Nicholson, Nichols and Henderson. And um, th they are the ones that normally hold the keys to winning the big races where it's the big prize money. But if Dan Skelton can keep being a fawn in their side, keep getting lots of uh, small wins under his belt like he's been doing since the season kicked off, I definitely think he could have a chance of uh, winning. And at that kind of price, I think he was definitely worth a shot. So... Um, yeah, that's an interesting little double I've done there, and I'm hoping he'll be getting a winner for us tomorrow in Cobra de Mai. Now, the reason I selected this horse is because it's currently 7 to 4 uh, with bookmakers at the moment. It's a free horse race tomorrow, with to be honest, all the horses got claims. But the reason I went for this one was because Cobra de Mai, a few starts ago, won really well on its um, chase debut and it won 24 lengths in hand that day and it ran really well. It hadn't been an amazing horse over hurdles but over chase fencing its jumping was so tidy and neat. It ran really well and these two other horses tomorrow um, actually haven't really run so well over chases. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be going for this horse tomorrow. I definitely think he's the one to beat in the race. And he also, last time out, had a hurdle win as well to his name. So, yeah, that's who I'm going for there, Cobra de May, to um, hopefully uh, keep my skeleton bet alive. So that's who I'm going for there. But if you've done well today uh, with your lucky 15s or any other bets you've had, leave your comments in the comments box below. Gamble responsibly. Follow us on Twitter at Lucky Loaders15. Like us on Facebook if you like at uh, Lucky Loaders15 as well. Subscribe to the channel for more daily uh, horse racing predictions. And I'll see you soon.